Taryn, why did you start Wink Models? So I've worked both client side as a producer for about five years and talent side as a model since I was 15. So I knew the industry really well and I'd seen firsthand the inefficiencies and inequalities in the industry and I was really sort of personally moved by it. I just I couldn't understand why models were treated so unfairly and most importantly why it took months for them to get paid because it's just it really is unheard of in, in any other industry. So. With the blissful naivety of youth, I thought I'm going to single-handedly change the industry for the better and that's how Wink Models was born and here we are nearly nine years later and I think we've made a solid dent and we've built a really beautiful and supportive community and really tried to work hard to change the industry and we still pay all of our models within seven days. On the back of this, our clients really win, you know, they get talent who are incredibly committed, incredibly engaging who want to show up and do a fantastic job because they come from a beautiful, supportive space. So has there been a, a, an exodus of models from other agencies to you? Yeah, definitely. We have seen some great models come across to us and, and it's really important to us as well um, that it's not about taking over the industry or, or trying to be the biggest and only agency. It's about building a, a change in the industry as a whole. Do you get cranky about misconceptions about models? I mean, there's, there's the, 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 the conception that, you know, models just don't eat. Started. Absolutely. And it was another reason that I started Wink is that there was a lot of negative connotations around our industry and a lot of negative body image talk. And um, one of the reasons I started Wink is I think we've seen a big change in advertising to wanting more authentic and, um, you know, real representations of consumers in their advertising. And beauty has so many different forms. So at Wink, our youngest model is 13 and our oldest is 79 years old. 79? Yes, yeah, yes, Robin, and she's absolutely divine. And, um, you know, so we've got a real full spread there. What are some of the challenges you'd say that you've faced personally? Oh gosh, there's been, yeah, there's been some, some big challenges along the way, I think, as there is with any small business owner. Um, Probably for me personally, learning how to delegate has been a huge challenge. Um, I think if I could start my business again, it's something I would definitely have tried to learn how to do earlier and, and hire staff earlier. I think at the start you think, you know, I have to do it all myself, you know, my payroll, answering the phones, every single booking, recruiting every single model. Um, and I think you realise you're standing in the way to your own success. I knew that I was stopping the business from growing and we were at a point where I was having to turn away business because I just didn't, couldn't service any more models and any more, um, any more clients. So we, on the, on the back of that, decided to build an online booking platform as well, which was uh, my first sort of foray into tech. So uh, what's your advice to, to women out there, and, and particularly young women like you, to, to build a business? I don't want to sound ageist or patronising, no. but you are incredibly young to sort of depart yeah. from that, to have a, a business that's now turning over three million bucks a year. Yeah. So a lot of young women would be looking at you going, wow, I want to do that. What's your advice to them? Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of hard work, number one, I'm not going to lie to you, but I would When you say, say hard work, look, how many hours a day? Oh gosh, I'm in the office probably about 7.30 every day and I leave at about 9.30. Um, wow, why yeah, do you not look days. terrible? Like, when do you exercise? <laughs> when do you do all that? I get up at 5.30 and exercise. Yeah, it's a, it's a long day and it's a long haul. And definitely, you know, there's, there's periods that are busier than others and we have a lot of functions and events to attend. We work with a lot of charities, so we've got gala balls and things like that to go to every, you know, every week, so. Is that where you have a social life? Yeah. Because if you're finishing <laughs> work at nine o'clock. <laughs> Sorry. It's, that's a total lie, there's no social life. You give that up for a few years while you slug it out and build a business, but I think it's all worth it in the end. And my advice would just be get started. Like so many people come to me in exactly that situation saying, oh, I've seen what you've done and you know, I've, I've got this idea and I was thinking, you know, after my next holiday, I might get started or, you know, after my son's in school, I'm going to get started. And I'd say, just get started. There is no perfect time. So how do you nurture the models who are in your agency? What do you do? Yeah, so we've got a really fantastic team of bookers um, who look after our talent. Um, we have regular get togethers, wellness days. Um, so where we bring in yoga experts, um, life coaches, health and wellness teams. And a big thing about um, our agency, we're really focused on health and fitness. So all of our office trains together every morning. At the 5.30 crack of, with after you. the crack of dawn. Wow, yeah. what a boss you are. <laughs> exactly, whip them into shape. Um, so, and, and that flows on through our agency. You know, they've got access to nutritionists, naturopaths, personal trainers, health and wellness experts, because it's so important. Have you ever had to um, sack anybody? Yeah, I have. And how um, tough is that? It's really hard. You, you work with them so closely and you do develop such a strong relationship over the years and um, it, it's really painful for both parties. So 
as hard as it, hard as it is, it's yeah, like ripping off a band-aid. I'm trying to get better at it, but yeah, it does take its emotional toll. Yeah, I'd imagine it never gets easier. No. So, what, so and I don't think you want it to get easier, do you? I don't want to turn into that sort of person that no. you're fired. You know? no. <laughs> but what's next for you? Yeah, well, it's a really exciting time. I'm about to launch a new online platform, which is called The Right Dot Fit, and it's a platform that connects uh, talent and clients directly. So makeup artists, stylists, models, actors, MCs, anyone in this sort of creative space, we're trying to connect them with clients directly because agencies can be a pain point in the process. So especially with technology, turnaround times on briefs and globalization, you know, we do need to be able to service things incredibly quickly. So the right dot fit aims to do that and put these two parties in touch. So putting the power back in the hands of the client and the models or the talent directly. So they can sort of build their own brands and their career and and um, yeah, earn some extra cash and and really get ahead. So, so you're not doing yourself out of a gig Look, by doing potentially, that? potentially, you know. And I think that that's um, you know it's disruptive and it's exciting, you know. And I, I really like the idea of allowing you know talent um, to build their own brand and their own profiles, especially you know social media superstars and bloggers and influencers. They want to be able to curate their lives and their brand and and connect with clients in a safe place so it's all curated so it cuts out the middleman but you are the middleman that's exactly right that's exactly right so it's yeah it's going to be controversial and it'll be interesting to see how other agencies respond but i think it's so needed i mean it's happened in every other industry and i'd rather be a part of that than you know sitting there waiting for someone else to do it and being scared of what's ahead that's possibly one of the most selfless business acts i've ever heard of (laughs) It's, it's definitely, look, it's a really exciting time. It's very interesting. We'll definitely see how it unfolds, but I'm super excited about it. And tech, you know, is such an interesting space to be in and making something that's um, revolutionary and going to change the way people interact, I think is, is a really cool thing. Well, best of luck with the revolution. Thank, Thank you. you so much.